Hey guys, got another video here for you. This one's been requested a fair bit and I think I've already answered it uh, in some of my videos but some people are still saying they're getting a bit confused. So I thought I'd make another quick video just show you how easy it is anyway. They want to know how to create their own uh, USB utility uh, drive or antivirus drive or something like that where they can use it in their work or you know as a PC tech they might want to use it. So it's pretty straightforward. We're going to be using Xboot which I've used before. Now you can use other tools like Yummy and other tools like that um, to do it. You're also going to need your ISO images which you can freely download on the internet. Uh, no pirate stuff there, you can just use the real stuff. Um, and also you're going to need to make sure you've got a pen drive. Now I've got the pen drive plugged in as you can see. It's only a 4 gig pen drive but um, I've got some other big ones but they're all full up with good stuff so I'm not going to be using those so bigger the drive the better really this only a 4 gig minimum I would say and then go with that okay so let's get started so I'm going to run xboot now, there's a couple of options you can do you can either do the drag and drop option which is dragging and drop it inside here or you can actually go up to file and open and this will take you to a location where you can locate your files. Now I've got mine on my desktop, as you can see, uh, they're in a folder called ISO. So I'm just going to click on uh, Kaspersky uh, Rescue. Click on that, and then this box will pop up. You just need to select from the list uh, what version it is. And as you can see, I've got Rescue Disk here. And then I'm going to add this file. It will automatically give it a category and that's because it was in the category of the list okay now you can create your own categories and your own lists as well with files so we're going to go to open and i'm just going to quickly put in here um say eid commander which is an old xp version now this is in the list also but i don't use this one because for some reason for my copy of um, erd it doesn't work so what i do is i'll go up to the uh, add us uh, add using a grub for dos for iso image emulator i'll click on that and then i add this file the problem is it leaves a nasty name there so you could rename this file to something looking more pretty um, as in erd commander xp or whatever so it looks nicer in the menu and uh, I would advise you to obviously give it its own category um, for whatever you like really I'm just going to call this rescue like so so that will be a category called rescue and you can now get the idea you just add loads more stuff in this won't look very nice in the menu uh, list so just bear that in mind you might want to rename all those ISOs to something looking more pretty so let's uh, go over something else now you can also download there's a download tab here once you get to the download it gives you a list of stuff you can download so obviously you don't even have to have the ISO images you could come to this location and actually download them now I know uh, Memtest is pretty good as well uh, Derek's boot and nuke we're gonna go with that one say just because I know it's small so I open the uh, download page and it will take you straight here okay so what we need to do here is gonna click on this and this is the one take you to the download page once you fill out all this stuff but just leave it for a second and then we're going to save this okay so I'm going to save this now to that location inside here you can save yours to where you like so now we got that um, I can close this off and then go to file open and then we can go to DBAN or Derek's boot and nuke and this is the one here now you obviously need to go into the selection here as well and uh, select Derek's boot and nuke like so and add this file and you can see that's now in utility so again you can just build these up to how you like okay so you can see some help text here you can add this in as well if you wanted to to add your own text in there to help people with the help file if you wanted to create your own help file and also you can see Derek's already done his one so you could add yours in as well by just double clicking on here and adding it in okay 
Okay, so you can see up the top here it's 412 megabytes, so you've got an idea of the size that it is. Then all you need to do really after that is pretty much click on the uh, create the USB drive. So once you do that, you then need to leave it on the recommended setting, which is Sys Linux, and also select the drive that you're going to be doing it on. Now be careful if you've got USB drives installed or plugged in onto the computer and you select the wrong uh, drive letter, it will format that. Now you can see it's going to quickly wipe this and get it prepared, okay? And make sure you've got the right one, as I said. So I'm going to click OK here. It's preparing the USB drive now. Now obviously this is just an example, but you'll get the general idea. You need to make it a much bigger selection of files so you fill it right up so I'll copy this across this will take some time so just go make yourself a cup of tea okay so that's just creating the help menu now it's finished copying those across it's saying USB is created successful so what we need to do here now is check the actual menus working properly so we can say yes here this will open up a, a test window and as you can see it gives us a little a test of what our menu will look like and as you can see we've got the help file there the utility rescue and antivirus this is all on the USB drive which is uh, as you can see so if I did a load of uh, antiviruses in here you would actually see all the antiviruses that I've added and also rescue again you can now see what I was on about with the actual naming of the actual ISO it does look a little bit nasty like that so you may want to rename it to something that looks a little bit more pretty so let's uh, go on to the utility and you should see Derek's boot and nuke and there you go so so we need to do here now is pretty much um, end the video so you can actually change this Xboot DVD as well inside the files there um, so I'm just going to quickly close this off and show you the uh, location of the drive and show you what it looks like. It's renamed it Xboot and it's prepared the actual drive as you can see. So that's pretty much it. You can create all your own rescue um, USBs or your own utility USB drives. It's pretty straightforward and that's how you do it. Okay. So I hope you enjoy these videos. My name is Brian from brightech.co.uk. If you enjoy these videos, please remember guys, hit that subscribe button and show your support and rate and favorite all my videos. And I'll be making more videos again in the future. So thanks again, guys. Bye for now.